I've come to the conclusion that I'm probably not going to get Orion on every gun in this game before MW3 comes out, but there's still some camos out there that I want to get. The first of those being Bioluminescent. I think this is one of the coolest camos out there, and I'm pretty sure the Zombies camo for MW3 is going to be called Bioluminescent, so this could be a precursor to that. I also really want this Neon Peaks camo. I think this is beautiful. This is probably better than Orion anyways, so I want to pick this up. I also want to grab this Goodnight Vibes camo because I think it looks pretty cool, but since we're already going to be working on the Lockman Shroud, I want to pick up this this Germanite camo or however you say it. This is kind of similar to the Bioluminescent, just a little bit of a different pattern. I might pick up some other camos along the way if I'm feeling frisky, but also I need a little bit more souls to grab some more stuff from this event. I already got the Ghoulie camo, which is great, but I really want this Death Ray handgun here, this Deagle, because this just looks sweet. So hopefully we'll be able to get all that today. So let's go ahead and hop in. And just because I'm getting some camos here and not going all the way for Orion doesn't mean that I'm not going to be getting Orion on these cam guns eventually because I will be able to get Orion in MW3 using these same guns, and I might honestly have a better time doing it there anyways. But at least for now, I can get some nice camos to go into MW3 with if I plan on using these weapons, because I'm pretty sure I can't use MW2 camos on MW3 weapons, which kind of sucks. But if any of these weapons are decent in like Warzone or Zombies or something later on, then I'll have some camos to work with. But for our Bioluminescent camo here, we need to get 30 crouching kills, and I think we are already at 10 or something. So it shouldn't take too long to get this one done. Done, but for some of our other weapons, I don't even have them leveled up yet. But thankfully, it is a double weapon XP weekend or just double everything XP weekend. So it shouldn't take too long to get them all leveled up, but... Uh, maybe I should knock on wood because I got the worst commentator's curse out there. Also, I've never seen anybody vote yes here for the play again with team. Why don't they just have the lobby stay together instead of disbanding? And we still need three crouching kills. So we'll get that done pretty quick, hopefully. What's our challenge here for the ISO 45? or nine millimeter, whatever. 25 point blank kills. Oh, but we still need to level it all the way up to 12. That's not bad at all, actually. If we get another game of grind, that should be fast. And it is another game of grind. Beautiful. I hope they bring grind back for MW3 because this is like my favorite mode for leveling up, especially on a small map like this. Levels just fly by. Okay, we just need one more crouching kill. Almost got it on Groot there. Still an insane skin. I don't know how that hasn't been changed. Oh, but there we go. We got a battle pass token. And there's Bioluminescent. Sweet. I'm switching classes. And give me all these. Never mind, I'll just die. But we'll see how many levels we get in this game. We're starting this on literally level one. No levels. While we're trying to avoid getting shotgunned to death. That's just the catch-22 of shipment. You can have really high kill games, have a lot of fast pace, get into fights immediately. But you're going to have to deal with the dudes that just got riot shields on their backs and shotguns. It's the unfortunate truth of shipment. Ooh, eat that. The pre-fire throwing knife? I still got it. Ooh, give me all those. Plus more. And that's game. How many levels did we get there? So after 24 kills, 35 deaths. Damn. And I don't even know how many captures. We got to level eight. Eight levels in one game is not bad at all. And now we're on a game of hard points. So we're gonna have to see how fast we get levels here. We just gotta pay attention if we do end up hitting level 12 to start going for those point blanks. Make sure I just get into the habit of doing it right now. There we go. Already getting used to it. Ooh. Damn. Oh, we got a camo for it. But not the one I'm looking for. There's another camo that I'm not looking for. We might end up getting this thing gold. Oh, there's another camo. But this game's about to end, and I don't even think we're level 12 yet. And that's the game. We got 69 kills, though. Way more than we got last game, and we got way less XP. Grind is just the way. Ha <laughs> ha. We got to 11 and three quarters, but now we got a game of kill confirmed. Hopefully this will get me over the level hump and then I'll be able to actually get these point blank kills for our camo. There's level 12 immediately upon getting into this game. I don't remember how many point blanks we need, but that is definitely not one. We'll be way closer. And also common misconception, you can, you can aim down sights while getting a point blank kill. Doesn't have to be hip fire. Hip fire is usually just easier. Get the fuck out of my way. That's definitely gotta be one. Almost fumbled it too. Come on. How many point blanks do we need for this? I feel like I got in a bunch this game. Watch me be like one or two short. Oh, and there's game. Let me get a point blank on the way out. Let's take a peek. Maybe we got it and I didn't notice. Oh, I need four more. What do we gotta do for the Lockman Shroud when we get that done? We need 20 kills from behind. Can't avoid it. And 15 kills while mounted? No. And we need to level it up. The trifecta. All right, come on. I just need a few point blanks and I'm done. And y'all can do whatever you want. That it seems like they're already doing that, though. So I don't really have a whole lot of leverage here to make this deal. There we go. 
No way I got my ass beat. I didn't hit a single bullet. Okay, not that time, pal. Or that time. Throwing knife for you. Oh, there it is. Actually, we got it. Let's fucking go. Well, Neon Peaks. Now we gotta switch to Lachlan Shroud. The MP5 that comes with a suppressor. Because that's a whole different weapon now. Hold on. Is this single fire? Oh, it's a burst? Mm-mm. Why is it a burst? Why do they make a... A SMG, that's basically the same as another SMG in the game, a burst rifle. Or a burst, whatever. What are you guys know what I'm fucking talking about? This gun's giving me a stroke. We need kills from behind with this and mounted kills? You got me fucked up. You know, maybe I'll just leave this game. Maybe we'll get a game of grind. We lose out on our souls there, but I think it's worth it for me to do this. Now we can enjoy our Neon Peaks camo. What the fuck did I queue into? This is not shipment. This is third person hat fish hatchery. Nope. Okay, not grind. We got into a game of hard point. Immediately got double stunned the second we entered the lobby. And I just thought of something. How am I supposed to get kills from behind when people are turtling around? It's literally impossible. But this camo looks fucking beautiful though. I'll tell you what. One of the better camos in the game. I cannot, I can't do anything right now. This burst fire gun's fucking me up. I'm getting slapped in the mouth by shotguns constantly. They got an attack helo above us. There's no hope for me. This gun, to me, kind of seems like a hardcore gun. Where it's so ass, it only kills well in hardcore. But at the same time, I'm starting to think maybe I should play some lockdown. That way I can get some souls. And maybe I'll level up a little bit faster since you get more XP per kill. This game just needs to end, but now they're actually playing the hard point. They're milking us for all we're worth. And all we're worth to them is kills. I don't even want to see how many deaths I got this game. Thank God that's over. 54 deaths and 20 kills. Yeah, get me out of here. They take it out of the game? No way, dude. People are getting souls too fast for you? Oh no, it's right here. I'm an idiot. This fucking Hulu UI made it impossible to find it. All right, I'll play this until our gun's leveled up. And if I'm not getting any camo progress, we're gonna play a hardcore shipment and call it a day. But I'm assuming we should be able to get a few kills from behind here, at least in pregame, assuming they don't get stolen. And then we'll get a little bit of camo progress done, but... We'll see if that's any good for levels and souls. There we go. That's one kill. I'll get the souls for it. Knocked another dude. Easy. And I can just pick up all the other souls that are on the ground. Like a gremlin. Give me those. I don't even care if I die. Holy shit. There's a shit ton of souls. I should have just played this the whole time when I was going for the ghoulie camo. Definitely way faster than Zombie Royale, that's for sure. We're already at 17. We're getting a little bit of levels here. We're already at seven. But I wonder if I kill somebody while they're downed, like while they're crawling. If I kill them from behind while they're down, do I get the kill from behind? Or does it only count downing them? I'm gonna try to focus on doing that. And if I got that camo challenge unlocked, then we'll see if it's working. There's somebody from behind. There's another one. I really hope that counts for kills from behind because this is like a cheat code for that camo. But we made it up to fucking level 10 already. It's doing pretty decent for levels. I'll tell you what. Now, I know the, the whole strategy with this, you're supposed to back out and play more to get, you know, the most souls possible. I'm feeling a little bit of a flow with this one. And I feel like I'll get more XP if I just stay and do this one. All the other ones might back out if we keep playing this. But we'll see where we're at uh, camo wise. Holy shit. All right, well, I might actually say screw that to the leaving the match because I'm going to do it. Did we get any camos from that? Okay, we got eight kills from behind there. I don't even think we had the challenge unlock for like half of the game. So that's actually pretty good. Mounted kills, that was another thing. So I'm going to play that until I get my kills from behind camo. And then we'll go into shipment and mount. And then hopefully we'll have enough to get this deagle. And now I'm getting my ass kicked. And they've gotten wise to my schemes. All right, well, maybe I just leave this game. Maybe we just go right to shipment. And hardcore shipment's not even here, so I just gotta play normal shipment. Okay, now how am I gonna get kills from behind and mounted? I'm just gonna throw this down and hope uh, people spawn in front of me. Or just don't see me. Either one works for me. This is actually such a better spot to try to get these kills from behind. I just throw that in front. And I mount here. And then maybe somebody will run past. There we go, it's already working. Oh, and that's another one. Oh, this is such a foolproof strategy. Who knew sitting in corners was the key to getting any camo? Because people do not be checking their corners in COD. But these spawns have not flipped like almost at all. I've gotten maybe three people to come over here. And it's worked every time. 
But it's just a very small amount of people for what I need. We might have to change spots. So wait, as soon as I say something, we just gotta be patient. Watch this be the first nuke I drop ever. And it's just me playing like a fucking dumbass. I say that like I'm on any sort of meaningful streak. I think I have like six kills. Oh no, it's 10. Easy advanced UAV though. I feel like these guys still don't know where I am. I might not ever die. This is the safest spot in the game. And all my teammates are doing the same shit. Okay, I gotta move. I'm getting antsy. I found a new corner. Did the spawns really flip the second I leave? I was the one holding them down? Of course. Why wouldn't they? I'm back home. And I think the spawns flipped again. I just can't escape it. I'm going back over there. I haven't even seen anybody. Oh, there we go. I just had to say something. But you guys see why this camo challenge is a problem? The only way to actually get it is to play like a fucking rat. They really shouldn't have camo challenges in the game that promote this type of behavior. This plus mounting, they really just want you to sit down and do nothing. And SBMM really looks at how you play, not just your KD. Because these dudes over here are doing the same shit. They're all stacking up here behind deployable covers, laying around, going for mounted kills. Everyone on my team's going for mounted kills. Everyone on the other team's going for mounted kills. It's fucking ridiculous. Let's see how many kills from behind we got that game. I'm gonna be pissed if it's like three or less. I went 41 and 25. Probably my best KD of the day just by sitting my ass down. Look at that. Almost got the camo completely done. All I had to do was camp. Oh, let's go. Right behind you people. That should be our camo. Please. Let's fucking go. Now we just need mounted. Okay, now I'm actually struggling to get this, like, two mounted kills that I need. I'm getting fucked up. Maybe because I'm not doing my strat. Throw down deployable cover. Sit and wait. There we go. That's another. Are we done? Not quite, but that should help out. Oh, there it is. Let's fucking go. I think we got them all. Now I'm just going to play the rest of this game out so I can get my souls and we'll be good to go. And that's game. We got 28 kills and 24 deaths. That's what I get for not camping. And we got just enough souls to go ahead and get our alien death ray. So in honor of that, let's go check out our camos on some vehicles. All right, this was the camo I was the most excited for, the neon vibes, and it looks fucking beautiful. We saw a bit of this while we were playing, but getting a nice look at it with the inspect, it's a brilliant camo i love this camo and just a quick little look at it on the the val 46 insane camo and here's our bioluminescent camo and it actually looks way better than i thought it would i love this blue color on it and the pattern's not too bad and this is it on the deagle every camo just kind of looked clean on a deagle and this is basically if a uh, bioluminescent had eczema it's just switched up the colors a little bit here let's switch up the pattern a little bit but i think it still looks nice Ooh. And the blue accent on, on the hammer for the deagle looks great too. Oh, now hold on. Before we go over to look at it by the pool, this one glows in the dark a little bit. It's just like those little plastic stars that you see on like ceilings that glow in the dark. That's sweet. What a cool idea for a camo. And here's the Vel 46 in the dark. And this is what it looks like out in the nice sun by the pool. Very nice looking camo. Basically like the full black solid color camo with just some stars and crescent moons on it. But that's it. I just want to grab a few nice looking camos for today. And uh, maybe I'll get Orion on these weapons going into Modern Warfare 3. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.